the guys, it's Elog here and welcome to the deck profile for the Seraph Agents. This is an agent deck that uses the Seraph engine, as you may have guessed, together with Transmodify, which makes the deck really cool. And it has some interesting combo plays and really builds up pretty good boards if you open up great. However, the, the deck has a tendency of bricking, just a warning. Uh, but if you get those magnificent combos off with Transmodify, you just, you, you, you just win. Okay, so let's go into deck profile and I will explain my choices as we go along. So first, three mystical shine balls because we do run a Agent of Creation Venus in this. Uh, it's mainly one of the, well, it's the only way we can go into Gachi Gachi. But uh, we, only, we only run one Gachi in here because he's not super important, I guess. But he, he does things, I guess. He's just boosting attack and stuff. Uh, so they're mainly like Seas Fodder. You can also use them for Synchros, which is really cool. Uh, it can go into things like Trishula, it can go into Bales with them, Angel of Zera, etc, etc. So yeah, he's pretty, uh, well, the Mystical Shamble is decent in this deck. Uh, next we go for the Triple Master Hyperion. This is normally the boss monster for the deck, but uh, what he basically does is you can special summon him from your hand by removing from play one agent monster from your hand field or graveyard. So that's pretty easy summoning condition right there. And once per turn, you can remove from play one light fair type monster in your graveyard, select one card in the field and destroy it. So, uh, and if you have Sanctuary in the Sky on the field, you can do that up to twice per turn. So that is really nice. Um, Master Appearance is just a fantastic monster in general for the deck. Um, next we run Double Tethys, Goddess of Light. This deck draws a lot. So if you have a Tethys on board together with a, a combo that you use with Transmodify, you're basically going to draw your entire deck, almost, if you're, if you're very lucky. That's why we have such a huge monster count is because of Tethys, because we want to get as much cards in our hand as possible if we want Tethys to be as effective as possible. So yeah. Uh, next to go for the double uh, Agent of Entropy. Uh, it's basically to make Ascension as well as all of our other Synchro plays. It's our main tuner. Uh, use special something from your hand if you have a Sanctuary in the Sky on the field. And the cool thing about him is that he can uh, modify his level, which is a really awesome thing for a tuner. So you can basically send a Agent Monster from your deck to your graveyard in order for him to uh, become that monster's level. So we run uh, M Agent of Miracles. We run... Uh, Agent of Mystery Earth, as well as Venus, that covers levels 4 through uh, 2, I guess. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's nice. You can also use the Frixie's place, um, which is something you might want to do in this. Uh, next, we go for the double uh, Herald of um, uh, Seradius, Herald of Heaven. He is basically a main target for um, Elder God Noden, as well as he searches out your field spell. So, he fills a double purpose. Uh, as well, uh, he's a sizable beater too, in case you already have the card on board, so yeah. Uh, next we go for one Agent of Miracles Jupiter, uh, he's basically just a transmodify target in case we don't have any scepters left. Uh, he's not all that combo heavy, but he's still nice, since he can become a 2600 beater and run over things that generally cause trouble for the deck. Um, next we run the triple uh, Star Star Scepter, and this card is really what makes this deck work. Uh, yeah, at its finest, like it, it, it's transmodify plus a, a agent of creation Venus plus a sovereignty in your hand, and you can pretty much just go ham and make a board that's like ridiculous. Um, since uh, you you of course use the herald of creation Venus to make a gachi gachi without paying anything from your hand, uh, and then after that you just play transmodify if you have a sovereignty in your hand, special summon out your scepter, search out another sovereignty, special summon sovereignty from your hand. And special some of the other sovereignty from hand, draw two cards, and then overlay into something like Evil Sword or Boros, Advanced Sigma, or Satellite Delteros. Um, so, yeah, those are, that's basically the big, big play that this deck pushes as much as possible. Uh, next, we run one Hecatrice. It's basically just for uh, a search power for Valhalla, as well as it acts as another Seradius in a sense. Um, next we go for the double honest, why should I not run this, it's a fairy, it's light, and it helps out light decks like nothing else, and almost everything in this entire deck is light, except for the Agent of Entropy, which we're going to be synchroing with anyway, so, yeah. Uh, next we go for the triple sovereignty, this card is amazing, it's like the, uh, it's like the best card of the entire deck, together with Scepter, uh, since it just bait makes the combos that much more potent and it, it, it's the card that makes the combos work to begin with uh since scepter yeah it, it, you know the scepter sovereignty combo right sticks and chairs um as for the level threes of course we run the herald of Eight creation venus and then finally we run the agent of mystery earth which searches out all your other 
which centers it basically on Venus. That's basically what you do with it. Uh, unless you have a field spell, which allows you to search out for that Master Hyperion. Uh, as for the spells, we run one Instant Fusion and a triple trans Transmodify. Uh, Instant Fusion is just for Norden, uh, Norden, not nothing special there. And then finally, the Transmodify is for the Venus uh, into Star Sarah Scepter combo, as well as going into uh, the Agent of, uh, well, going to Tethys, basically with any level 4s that we have. Uh, so things like Hecatris and uh, uh, Miracles becomes, uh, in goes into Tethys, basically. Uh, next we go for the uh, Double Valhalla Hall of the Fallen. It's basically for increased combo potential because you can make even bigger boards if you have this together with the combo I mentioned earlier. Uh, and finally we run the uh, Triple Sanctuary in the Sky and Triple Call of the Haunted. Uh, Call of the Haunted is just for combo potential with uh, Star Star Scepter as well as bringing back monsters in general. So it's a very versatile card in this deck. Uh, as for the extra deck, we've run uh, one Elder God Norden, well, Elder Entity Norden, uh, one Star Eater, uh, one Leo, one Ascension Sky Dragon, one Trishula, one Beals, uh, one Angel of Zera, uh, one Michael Arc the Arc Like Sworn, uh, then one Clearwing Synchro Dragon, uh, then one Armadi's Keeper of Illusions, and then Able Swarm of Boros, Violent Sigma, Satellite Dilteros, uh, Gachi, Gachi Gun Tetsu, and finally Dr. Belling Seas Dragon. And that runs up the extract, guys. So tell me what you think. And I'm out. And I have one deal to show, so yay.